Hey, welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to show you an example of how to use method one when we do a vector product. So here are the two vectors, A and B. They have an X, a Y, and a Z component each. Notice that we put a negative sign in there, so see how that works. And there we have the example of how to execute a vector product. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So in this case, we can say that A cross B is going to be equal to this matrix. So we have I, J, and K, and then here we plug in the X, Y, and Z component of A, so that would be 2, 6, and 3, and then here we put in the X, Y, and Z component of B, which is 4, negative 2, and 5. Now we just execute, so this is equal to, we take the first unit vector I, that will be positive, remember we change signs, that's positive, negative, positive, so positive I times, so when we picked I, we're going to get rid of this column, and this row, so we end up with those four elements, we multiply those two together and subtract or multiply those two together. So this becomes 6 times 5 minus, that would be 3 times a negative 2. So we multiply those two together and subtract or multiply those two together. Now we write minus j. The reason we write minus is because we alternate signs. So this becomes minus j. Then again, we cover up this column, this row, we end up with those four, four elements, so we multiply those two together and subtract when we multiply those two together. So this becomes 2 times 5 minus 3 times 4. And finally we get plus k, again we alternate signs, this becomes plus again. When we pick the element k here, we cross out this column and this row, we end up with those four elements, we multiply those two together and then subtract when we multiply those two together. So this becomes 2 times a negative 2 minus, and that would be 6 times 4. 6 times 4. All right, now all we have to do is simplify what we have. So this becomes i times, that is 30, minus times a minus, which is plus 6, minus j times 10, minus 12, plus k times, that would be minus 4, minus 24. Okay, continuing on, so this is equal to i times 36 minus j times a negative 2 and plus k times a negative 28 and simply distributing the signs this is therefore equal to 36i and that would be plus 2j and minus 28k and that would be the result of the vector product of vectors A and B. Now, what do you think we're going to get if we were to go B minus A, or B cross A, not B minus A, but B cross A, we simply would get the negative or the opposite of that, so all the signs would simply change. Go ahead and try that and see what happens. But that's how we use method one when we do vector products. And in the next video, I'll show you a different method, let's call it method two, and see if we get the same result.